Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about tie-ups and the difference between a tie-up and a setup. They're not the same thing, okay? Generally, when you get into your tie-up, you need to use it as a setup. And that's when you got to start having hands and moving your feet and, and that kind of thing. So the setup that I'm going to teach you now is kind of something that I developed. I'm sure other people are doing it. But I kind of developed it by, I saw um, a wrestler do it who was really good with the inside carry. And so I just started toying with it and created this setup. The first setup that we're gonna teach is, we call it a head jam. It's pretty common at, at Iowa. A lot of the Iowa wrestlers use it. Um, but we've kinda got a little bit of a different take on it in, in order to get to our shots. So all I'm gonna show you right here is the head jam, how it works, and then what I'm gonna do is show you just some of the shots that you can get to from it. We'll go over the takedowns later in another video, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on the setup. So this is Pierre Tyson. He's a freshman for us this year at Mona Shores. Um, right. He's gonna stand right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how the head jam works, okay? We start, get in your stance, Pierre. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm in my stance, he's in his stance. This is the setup. The setup is I'm gonna take my off hand. So if I'm a right leg lead, my right hand is my power hand, and my left hand will be my off hand. So I'm in my stance with my off hand, I'm going to palm right into his ear, okay? Now, remember that wrestling is physical, so I'm not just gonna put my hand on his ear, I'm gonna really hit him with my palm and push his head here, okay? So from here, I'm going to replace this hand with my power hand here. Once I'm here, I'm keeping my forearm inside. And here's where we do it a little bit different than Iowa does it. Once we replace it, we want our forearm on the inside here. Okay, so I jam him, I replace, and immediately when this hand comes off, I'm going to reach over and I'm gonna grab his armpit right here. So this is not a thumb block. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different setup, but this is a grip that comes under right here, it grabs this armpit, and I hold it tight. So here, here, and then what I do is I pull my head into this pocket, okay? So he's in his stance, I'm in my stance, I jam, replace, I get the pit, I pull him into the pocket. Now, that's a tie-up. The setup is moving his feet so I get the shot that I want. So with this setup, I can move either left or right. Um, when I, tell, when I say move left or right, I'm doing a kind of a side shuffle left, half kind of uh, crescent moon kind of circle. I'm not um, stepping straight across. I'm kind of moving in a circular motion. Um, something just to know, whenever you're moving somebody, whenever you're moving in your stance, never cross your feet. Don't make a motion like this, okay? If you circle right, the first foot that moves is your right foot, if you're a right foot lead. If you're circling left, First foot that moves is your left foot, okay? So once again, we get into our stance. I'm gonna jam him, boom. I come over to top, replace. I grab the pit. I, I sit it tight, I pull my head in. Stay in your stance here. Stay strong, stay strong. And then I'm just gonna circle here, pull, okay? Opens up this leg. I can also pass this arm. I have some real opportunities with the setup. This is what we call uh, the post, or excuse me, the, yeah, the head jam. Set up. The setup we're gonna talk about now is what we call post club. Um, we use this for a lot of different setup, or for a setup for a lot of different shots. Uh, I'll show you some of the shots in a later video that we do. Uh, I'll show you some of the opportunities that we have. But what I really want you to see right now is the setup. Um, somebody told me a long time ago that a really great setup will make up for a bad shot but a, a bad setup will not help you to get a good shot. So uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna go post club. So this is Gavin Claycomb. He's a junior for us this year. Um, he's gonna help us out today. So post club works like this, stand right here at this angle. What I'm gonna do is I'm in my stance, he's in his stance, okay? I'm going to, with my off hand, I'm going to post his shoulder. Now I create a straight arm here, 
okay? From here, I'm going to take my lead hand and I'm, I'm not coming over like this, which is what a lot of kids make mistakes. This right here, if I, if I take this hand way up in the air like this, um, he's probably gonna sweep this leg here. Sweep, sweep, sweep this leg, right, okay? So that's what'll happen. So we wanna make sure that when we post, turn this way, when we post, we're coming up this way and we're clubbing this way, okay? So again, uh, as we said in the other setup video, the head jam setup video, this has gotta be physical and I didn't really show how physical that needs to be, but maybe I'll do it right here. But the idea is this, it's post, hand comes up, club, okay? And I'm pretty sure you heard that smack on the mic, <laughs> but that's how it should be. Now the same thing, um, for this is I want to circle left or right. And what I prefer our guys to do is post, club, circle, level change, okay? So it becomes all one motion. My hand comes off the head. I'm looking for a shot. So let's say, um, for example, um, let's say I want to do an ankle pick, right? Say I want to pick this ankle, okay? I'm going to post, hand comes up, club, immediately pull all of this as I circle level change and release. Sorry, that was not an ankle pick because I let go of his head, but um, even if I wanted to high crotch that leg, post, club, circle left, release, level change, there's my shot, okay? So when you do this, this is what it should look like, okay? Post, club, circle. And I could circle either way. Now I don't have to just circle and release. I could circle, hold it, push, pull, I've got options here, okay? I can circle, I can push, I can pull. The idea though is hit him with the post, hit him with the club, make his eyes blink and move his feet. Uh, one of the biggest issues that kids have in uh, setups is they stay in them too long and they don't become a setup, they just become a tie-up. So once again, post, club, move, okay? That's our post club. So the setup I'm going to show you is called, we call it inside tie, straight arm collar tie. So most of you guys have seen an inside tie. You know that it's collar tie here and it's inside tie here. Come on, engage. Engage. Great. Like you want to wrestle me. Okay. So you know that this is inside tie. What we did is we used this as, instead of being over the top here where we're, where our thumb is over the top and our fingers are over the top and we're really gripping the back side of his arm here. What we did was, is we did it as a thumb block inside and then we just used our whole hand to grip his arm and then what we do is we straighten our arm and we, we force his elbow back. Now, don't move. Now, what you can see is that caused him from being able to be here to being below my elbow. And uh, it also does a couple of other things. This is what this does it prevents him from shooting with this arm, okay? Uh, it also prevents him from tying up this wrist with this hand. And the, the next step to this is I'm taking my elbow and I'm putting it right in his chest. So my head does not sit directly in the pocket here. It sits here. Now there's a bunch of things we can do out of this, okay? Um, you know, just... Uh, some of the stuff we like to do out of it. Okay, stay strong here. Stay strong, I'm gonna move you. Okay, so I use my elbow to push and watch my hand come off his head as I do that. I push, he braces. I take my hand off his head and now I snap. And now this puts me in a position where I can front headlock, I can rotate my thumb under, snap him to the mat. It gives me options to score. Now, it's not the only thing we can do. This inside tie opens us up for inside carry, Outside carry, high crotch, double. Um, we used it for um, pulling them in here, coming to this cement job um, setup. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So how we generally set this up, how we generally go to this is we start with our offhand. Um, most every setup we do starts with our offhand. So we're in our stance, we're wrestling. I automatically post him right at his elbow. I don't post him up here. I'm here, I post at his elbow. So you can see it requires a little bit of a level change to get to the 
tie. So he's in his stance. Get in your stance. I'm in my stance. So I want that elbow. So I level change, post, and then stay strong. Then I come here and club. Okay, but Pierre, Pierre's stronger than that. He doesn't normally let his head go all the way to the mat when a guy, when a guy clubs him. Okay, so here I level change post. I club him. I pull him in. I've got his head into my shoulder here. And normally you would think that this would be counterproductive, but it's not. Now, the other key is keeping this straight. Because if I start to bring this in, his hand can slide down. This hand can slide down, start getting onto my elbow. He can come over to top here. Okay, He's got some options if my arm is bent. But if I straighten it out, all of his options start to disappear. Now, I get my elbow up into his chest, and I move him, and then I snap and circle. There's that leg. Here, snap and circle. There's that leg. So sometimes, sometimes it's just a shuffle, okay? Sometimes it's rotating around, okay? I'm here. Now, with every setup, um, when you're going to take a shot, you've got a level change out of the setup. So every setup that we teach, that's what we do. We post, we club, we circle, we level change. Every single one. So that's the inside tie, straight arm collar tie. I'll show you some takedowns that we do after that, uh, with that uh, on another video. The next setup I'm gonna show you is what we call double elbow bind. Um, I'd like to get this out of a collar tie. Collar ties are the, is the most common setup in wrestling. Every guy goes to a collar tie at some point. This is how we use the collar tie to get to a shot. So it's pretty simple. Um, we, we're in collar tie here. Turn this way. And all I'm going to do here, stay strong. All I'm going to do here is take my hand off of his head. I'm going to take it straight down and then bring it thumb outside, palm up, and grab above this elbow. So what's great about this takedown is I can create a ton of pressure forward with him um, without having to worry about getting shot on or getting thrown because I've got his, I'm under his elbows here. I'm under his elbows, so there's no arm for him to capture. If I hold these elbows up and he tries to penetrate, right, takes the penetration step, I just pull the elbows up. I'm never really in a spot where I'm in trouble here. However, um, He's not going to let me stay in double elbow bind forever, right? So he's going to fight out of that. So we start at collar tie, and I bring the hand down, come up, grab it here, thumb outside. So I'm coming off the head, hand comes straight down, palm up to the elbow. And you'll notice when I get here, I pull the elbow up. This does a couple of things. Again, it starts to bring his arm up higher here, prevents him from shots, but it also puts me in good position for the shots that I want, okay? So I'm here, I bring the hand down here, and I pull it in. Uh, it also will help me close some distance. From here, he might be able to kind of extend his arms a little bit to try to back up, but I'm going to use this to pull him in. And, and a lot of times when I'm in this setup, I'm in a uh, square stance. Um, I keep my feet square here because it gives me the option to score on both sides. Um, it gives me an option for a, a duck under, um, a high crotch, um, head inside single, inside step single, which we haven't taught much here at Mona Shores. Uh, but it gives me a lot of options. Uh, I love this setup. So again, we're in here, collar tie, we're kind of wrestling around. I take my hand off his head and I pull it right up to me. Now I've got him up and then I'm looking to score, and I'm looking to score by creating pressure, okay? So I'll go over those takedowns uh, that we do off of this in another video, but this is the setup, double elbow bind. <laughs>